Okay, so we're here at the Jack Petchy Foundation Celebration event in Thurrock. Um, can you tell us a bit about your role within the celebration event today? As, as the Police and District Commander of Thurrock, I've been asked here uh, with the partnership work we do with the local schools and things like that in Thurrock to actually give some of the awards and basically open the presentation awards evening this evening. So families and children from all over the district are coming here tonight for the celebrations themselves. And you were saying just earlier about how much talent we have in Thurrock. Can you sort of explain what your views are on young talent in Thurrock? Yes, I mean this is a, a yearly event and it's absolutely fantastic to come here and we often see negativity in Thurrock about the borough and, and sort of people play the borough down but you come to an event like this and you realise there's so much talent here and it's such a vibrant event to actually see the performers, it's a really good night. And you're also presenting some of the awards, how are you feeling about that? Yes, it's nice because obviously the children have worked with the Jack Petchy Foundation, uh, they've achieved these awards and so you get to meet the people, you get to meet the people that have done the hard work behind them. So it's actually very humbling for myself to be able to you know, award the awards to the children and hopefully they'll go on to sort of future directions really. Because as you're saying, young people are so incredibly talented and it's time they sort of showcased it and with the Jack Petchy Foundation I guess that they can. Yes, I mean, in an event like this, you've got all, all different talents, uh, from singing to acting, things like that. And it's, it's an evening just to showcase what the children do in the schools. And it's a very, very good event. And obviously people, families get to see what the children are doing. And it's a good event for the district. So it's a good event all round for the young people. It is. Uh, and it's an event, you know, from my point of view, it's an event that I really enjoy coming to because it gives you a real insight into what's going on and what the good people of Thurrock are doing. It's such a vibrant place and to actually see so much talent is really good. Well, I'm thrilled that I've been asked to present um, medallions in the second half of the programme. I've sat in the audience for the last few years because I used to be a youth worker with the council. So I've been thrilled and very supportive. Um, and it's only been going 11 years and it's just amazing that they've given away, was it 65 million? So it's a sort of like being at the Bill Gates ceremony for Thurrock. So throughout all of those years you must have seen so many tremendous young people. What do you feel about the young talent in Thurrock? I just think it's amazing and um, you can tell from my accent I'm not from here. And uh, it used to be that we always thought we came down from the north and took the good jobs. But I see so much um, talent, innovation, um, get up and go with the young people in Thurrock now. I actually think the future is secure, as long as they don't move out. <laughs> I want them all to stay. And that's essentially what Jack Pitch is about, it's about showcasing the young people's talents. Yeah. Do you reckon there's going to be more events in the future like this? Oh, I hope so. I will. We've got so much to celebrate recently, because we've had the same generation getting these wonderful GCSE results, the same uh, group of young people, and uh, we're, we're all so proud.